and welcome to my another online class. I am Chef Aditya Saxena from Chitkara School of Hospitality. So today we would be learning about different spice mixtures of India. India being a very vast country has different cuisines in it. If we collectively say it, that comes to a term known as Indian cuisine. But we, if we differentiate it, we have 30, 33 different major cuisines and if we further segregate them, we have around 300 different cuisines. So when we have that much vast cuisines, we have different spice mixtures also. You know, there is a spice mixture in Maharashtra, there would be a spice mixture in uh, West Bengal, there would be a spice mixture in Punjab, there would be a spice mixture in Tamil Nadu. So today we would be learning about those spice mixtures. Interesting uh, masala. Malaga Podi It is also known as spicy gunpowder Now why it is being called gunpowder because you know a lot of Tamilians and Kerlites they use gunpowder in their food and when Britishers were here so they tried it to, you know they tried that gunpowder masala or we can of what we used to say it Malaga Podi masala and it was really spicy and they call it gunpowder because you know when their musket used to fire, they release a lot of uh, smoke. So it is that much smoky whenever you would be eating it, uh, you will start sweating up and uh, you know, you, you will have, have a runny nose. But again, the Indians are habitual of that much spice. But as per the Britishers, they were not so much habitual of this. So they named it gunpowder. So let's go for the ingredients. Now, for this, we need two cups of Bengal gram, which is also known as chana dal, two cups of split black gram, which is urad dal, 100 grams of black sesame seeds, which is kala thin, one and one fourth cup of dry coconut, 20 pieces of curry leaf, 30 red chilies. See, this is really hot, hot spice. You should know. It's using a lot of uh, uh, red chilies here. One lemon sized ball of tamarind, tamarind, uh, one lemon sized ball, one and a half tablespoon of jaggery, which is good, you powdered form memo, three teaspoons of salt, and two teaspoons of asafoetida. Now, he act as antacid, spices will you know, definitely create acidity, and he or asafoetida will soak it out. Now, how we had to make uh, Malaga Podi Masala or spicy gun powder? Now, you had to take a heavy water pan, then you had to dry roast the dals, dry coconut one by one till they turn pinkish and fragrant, and then you had to keep them separately. Now, since the time taken for roasting is different for each ingredient, it is important that you do each one by one separately because you know uh, chana dal will take some time to get roasted whereas the moon dal or sorry the urad dal will you know, get roasted easily so you had to uh, roast them separately the tamarind curry leaves salt and a sofitera should also be roasted to get rid of any moisture this is really important because if there is a moisture content in your mulaga uh, body masala then again, the chances of getting into it would be a higher. Otherwise, the shelf life of the final product will decrease and it is likely to get dried fast. These may be roasted together till the acephrida starts releasing its characteristic aroma. Cool the roasted ingredients to a room temperature and you have to make a powder of it. So, your Mulaka Podi Masala would look like this bright reddish yellowish color and find it, it is really hot. Then in batches you have to batches to a coarse texture. After the ingredients have been powdered in batches, place the entire quantity in a large bowl and using a dry ladle, mix well to blend the flavors. Now you have to store it in a airtight bottle or container. Uh, now it's fine if your powder is little pale or bright as the color depends on the variety of chili you use. Mulaga podi is served in small quantities mixed with sesame seed oil just use a little bit of oil to bake the powder together 
or you can add a little bit of uh, sesame seed oil or coconut oil you add to mix it you have to make a paste kind of consistency and then you can use the pulled pork masala or you can just directly sprinkle it in your steam rice hot steam rice and you can mix it with spoon and you can have those rice you can eat those rice like that so it will be you know a, a hearty meal for uh, any of the tandoori or meal like the next is rasam powder now rasam uh, be our appetizer so it is it requires a powdered form of masala now for that we need 3/4 cup of coriander seeds 20 red chilies 1/4 cup of tur or arhar dal 1/4 cup of chana dal 3 tablespoon black pepper corn which is your kali mirch 3 tablespoon of cumin seeds which is your zeera and half tablespoon or half teaspoon of ghee then again you have to dry roast the red chilies chana dal and tur dal on a medium flame until the dals are golden in color fragrant ho jaye and they started releasing their aroma now we have to transfer it in a plate and let them cool down then we have to dry roast the coriander seeds and pepper until fragrant then we have to add cumin in it because cumin gets roasted faster then we had to cool it completely we had to powder them we had to mix it and we had to store it in a airtight container it can go up to a month or two if you are putting it in a normal freezer fridge if you are putting it in a freezer then it can go much more now you can add turmeric to the to your rasam if you like if you don't like turmeric in your rasam powder you can always omit it but again turmeric is not meant to be dry roasted The next is Kola Puri Masala. Again, a spice mixture, uh, a famous spice mixture of from Kola Puri. It is a spicier version. Uh, whenever you would be hearing Kola Puri mutton, Kola Puri chicken, Kola Puri vegetables, this spice mixture will always be there. So, the first would be the wet mixture uh, in which the Kola Puri Masala is made. You need one teaspoon of oil, one small onion. thinly slices sliced three garlic cloves again thin slices and two tablespoon coriander leaves finely chopped then for the dry mixture two tablespoon whole coriander seeds one teaspoon fennel one teaspoon cumin seeds one teaspoon whole black pepper one piece small cinnamon stick four cloves one teaspoon fenugreek seeds one teaspoon of white sesame seeds Two tablespoon of desiccated coconut, one tablespoon of red chili powder. Now, for the wet mixture, how we have to cook it is: first, we need to heat a pan. We have to add, uh, be adding oil in it. Then we would be sauteing the sliced garlic and onion, onions and coriander seeds. We have to saute them on a low flame so that you know uh, we don't burn them. We have to saute them till they turn golden brown, and it will take around. Five to seven or eight minutes, and we have to let them cool completely. For the dry mixture, in the same pan, we have to add coriander seeds, fennel seeds, cumin, whole black pepper, cinnamon, cloves, and fenugreek seeds. Again, we have to sauté them on a low flame. Remember, this is a dry mixture, so we are not using oil in it. Till they start leaving their fragrance, so that they cook and dry roast. Now, add when the fragrance has been uh, started coming. then we had to add white sesame seeds and desiccated coconut because they will turn brown going brown uh, faster so we are adding them in the end let the mixture cool down completely now we have to mix uh, transfer the onion mixture in, in a jar and had to add all the dry roasted mixed uh, spices in it we had to add 2 tablespoon red chili powder and we have to make a make a uh, you know a coarse powder of it without adding any water or oil we have to make a coarse powder when the coarse powder is ready we can transfer it into a air tight container or a jar and we can keep it for a month or two in our fridge now helpful tips for this is you know you know make sure you do all the process on a low flame keep stirring continuously so you that you don't burn the ingredients Now uh, the masala is always meant to be cooked on a low flame. High flame will you know tend to change the color, but the aromas will uh, not released, or it can also burn the dish. 
so it is always advisable to uh, you know uh, have uh, your masalas grinded or cooked or roasted or a slow flame the next is malwani masala again uh, malwani uh, word came from malwa plateau which is the central or interior parts of maharashtra now ingredient for malwani masala see the color of malwani masala is really red and vibrant so it uh, you know uh, tends to be a bit spicy or version so for malwani masala what we would be doing we would be adding red dry red chili that would be 15 in numbers coriander seeds 2 tablespoons then we have got cumin seeds which is 1 tablespoon mustard seeds half teaspoon fennel seeds half two teaspoon we have got shahi zeera which is 1 teaspoon we have got uh, dalchini or cinnamon which is two pieces or one inch pieces uh, two pieces of one inch size star anise is one number cloves five black cardamom two black pepper corn eight numbers stone flour which is uh, also known as tagad pool uh, you can use half this or it is again optional if you want dark kesher again it is a marathi spice mixture if you don't have that it is again optional that you need is uh, is half a teaspoon of it nutmeg is again a uh, half nutmeg if you could grate half nutmeg is fine if you have a powder then you can use one fourth of a spoon turmeric again one uh, small stick if you have a fresh turmeric if you have powdered then half a teaspoon of turmeric then we need ghee or asafoetida that is one fourth teaspoon now the method for uh, making our delicious malwani spice mixture is uh, we had to heat a pan a wok on a really low flame we had to roast coriander seeds and red chilies first and we light brown and aromatic the first thing is we have to you know uh, dry roast our coriander seeds and uh, red chili on a low flame so that uh, they release their aromas and they release their essential oils then we have to add the rest of the spices and roast until fragrant and crisp for that we have to keep it stirring on all the time so that it doesn't burn we don't need to roast powdered spices like nutmeg turmeric and asafoetida because they have already spices so after dry roasting we have to transfer it into a plate and let it cool and mix the powdered spices in it then we have to put it transfer it in a blender we have to make uh, you know a fine powder of the spice mixture and we have to save it if uh, It's an option if you want. You can save it. If no, you don't want it. Is always on you. And then we have to allow the masala to cool down because you know when we blend the masala, it turns a bit hot because of the rotation of the plate. Let the masala cool down, and you can add it into a tight container, and it will be you know it can be used for longer version, longer time if you have if you have stored it. Uh, a tight container, and uh, can always put it in your refrigerator to keep increase the shelf life. So uh, this is it for uh, today's session. Please stay safe, stay at home, uh, wear a mask, maintain a uh, six feet distance, and sanitize your hands. Keep washing your hands. Thank you, thank you very much for uh, the session. stay tuned for some more sessions